I would watch TV all the time, and uh, Hee Haw, they always had these amazing, amazing guitar players on there. And uh, I just was so attracted to that when I was a kid, and that just got me playing that kind of that kind of stuff, you know? And uh, and they do some crazy stuff on that TV show, and I would, that attracted me to playing the kind of style I do. And uh, it's fun with all the banjos. that kind of stuff. I just was, I was just crazy about playing then. Festival is just nice because you get to see people that you haven't seen that much often. I love the vibes, like doing like Glastonbury and Wireless and other festivals around Europe has always been cool. Small tents, everyone's, it feels more intimate and people are up for it. Like we did a festival, Best Kept Secret in Holland and the crowd were just up for it. Like we came off stage and they wanted an encore and I was like, yeah, you see like, that's when I love headline shows because you can do the encore at a festival, you ain't got time for that. Best horror story. The Shrine were opening for Slayer in Eindhoven in the Netherlands, and there was a piano backstage, and I walked backstage, and Tom Mariah was sitting at the piano playing Stand By Me. And we almost like stopped, we were really quiet, and just watched him for a couple minutes while he sat there and played piano and played some classical stuff. And then later, an hour later, I was sitting trying to figure out one of our songs, sitting there playing piano, and he came up, and he started showing me how to play piano. And he was like, no, if you're trying to play a minor, this is where you're, put your pinky here, put your pinky here. And for about 10 minutes, sat and showed me how to play piano. If someone asks us now, we just, we just do it. It's like an envelope arrived at the warehouse yesterday yeah. with like a stack of photos in it. And someone just wrote to us just saying, oh, I'm like massive fan, love this. And like, I'm posting it back to them today. Do you know what I mean? They'll, it doesn't mean everyone can send and I was always coming at the weekend as well to get some time. Like, but it's, it's thing you're interested in. But yeah, yeah. Basically, we've said this for a while now because we've done the same thing. We're like, if you don't ask, you don't get. Mm. And somehow our fans have caught onto this and they just start asking us everything. We're like, yes, yes. I'm taking them cups of tea. Yeah. Mate, I went, I went to take like eight fans outside Amsterdam a cup of tea. I went and made them. And when I came back, the queue had gone in. So I'm just there with these teas. <laughs> <laughs>